May of 2022, I decided to go camping in a camper van. I had never been camping by myself before, and I went with a camper van from Wander Vans. You can rent them. And here, this one is the medium size, and the camper van lot is only about a, a mile from my condo. I brought the van back to my condo and started loading it up. I did need Chris Gethin's help on this because he's rented a camper van before, and I had never. So he gave me a lot of great pointers on what to bring, what to not bring, what's included in the van. It was super, super helpful. And yeah, dad, I know I had to go buy firewood at Walmart because I don't have all the tools to cut firewood. Okay, we are off. So a few miles outside of Ketchum on Highway 75 is the Sawtooth Recreational Center. So Vinny and I stopped in there. We picked up some brochures and we picked up a couple of maps, which were really, really helpful because I don't know this area very well and I could really learn the trails. I chose a campground about 10 miles north of Ketchum off Highway 75 called the Wood River Campground. And technically it was open, but the water had not been turned on yet because it was freezing at night. So as soon as Vinny and I arrived, I immediately strapped on my gear and took off for a hike. We did a four mile evening hike, which was nice. The weather was great. It was mild. There wasn't a soul in sight and it was really beautiful. We really got some good, uh, steep hiking in and I worked on my balance and worked on my stamina and just explored the area and, learned the area because I knew the very next day we'd be doing a much longer hike. So that was great to just kind of get the kinks out from the drive and um, feel a lot better. When I got back to the campground, I fed Vinny his evening meal, which he gobbled up. I got into the river. I parked right next to the river. Uh, I rinsed off. You know, I didn't take an actual bath, so I just rinsed off and it felt really good. And uh, yeah, I gave Vinny some love. Oh, he's such a good boy. And then really dove back into the maps. Because again, what I knew I wanted to do a, a longer 8 to 10 mile hike that evening. So I wanted to figure it out, what I was doing. I built a fire with my Walmart fire starter logs, brushed my teeth, and got ready for bed. This is my first time staying in the camper van. Uh, and I borrowed a, a sleeping bag from Chris Gethin. And it was really comfortable. It was nice. I laid a little towel down for, Vin for Vinny to sleep on. Uh, did a little bit of reading and then immediately fell back to sleep. Day two, cold this morning, uh, but beautiful, really, really beautiful. I slept great last night and um, we're starting our long hike. I four miles in, four miles to go, and uh, it's getting warm. We saw some beaver dams. Um, we met a lady, that's pretty cool, talked to her. She had a beautiful dog. And it's just absolutely gorgeous out here. Walking along the river, have the sawtooths in the background. I mean, it just, you just can't, you just can't ask for anything better than this.
second morning waking up in the sawtooths. Uh, woke up a little bit cold. I wasn't cold, but Vinny was sh shivering next to me, and I could feel that he was pressed up against me and tucked into a tight little ball and shivering. So uh, I think it got a little bit cold in the van, but um, and you can see I'm bundled up this morning. I've got two layers on. I've got thick socks, and I'm fine. Um, but it's beautiful here this morning. Got a fire going, got coffee going. <laughs> 